let's get right into it. Today's date, May 30th, 2023. First, let's do a quick re little review from yesterday. Yesterday, I gave you Jason Tatum uh, over eight and a half points first quarter. If you watch the game, you know what happened. He got hurt on the very first play of the game, and we were dead in the water after that. Second play I gave you was Duncan Robinson, 11.5 assist, rebounds, and points. Played out just exactly like I thought it would, but he had a late assist during garbage time when he shouldn't have even been in the game to put it to over 11 and a half. He had 12 points, rebounds, and assists. But we made up for it on the back end. At halftime, we got a real aggressive Jason Tatum. Uh, I think it was 24 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. We took the under on that, and we took the under on uh, Gabe Benson uh, for uh, his points, rebounds, and assists. I think that's up on the screen. We cashed on that one, so we made up for yesterday. I do notice that at halftime, you can get some really good numbers if you're watching the game. This is basketball. I'm talking basketball. Haven't really messed with anything else, but with the NBA, second half, if you watched the first half, you can see how it was going. You knew Jason Tatum wasn't going to reach his, uh, his uh, second half projection because he was hurt. Gabe Benson scored all his points in the first half half you know he's just he either gonna give it to your first half or second half he gave it to your first half last game plus he's hobbled also so I think it was a smart pick and it did pay off in the end let's get right into the day today we're looking at two plays first play I'm looking at is gonna be Bryce Elder Atlanta and we're looking at his strikeouts his prop is five and a half uh, as you can see he's went over this prop 60% of the time in his last 10 games. Has a very, very good matchup over here. Oakland is the worst in the league. First uh, K percentage. Let's look at, look and see what that means. Uh, and how often a team strikes out against left-handed pitchers and right-handed pitchers. Uh, Bryce is a right-handed pitcher. One green, good for Bryce. Not good for Oakland. They're the worst in the league. And even down here under the uh, WRC percentage, uh, which is a good indication of their true offense, they're ranked 28th, one of the worst in the league. So we're going to just go with the numbers here. Take Bryce to go over five and a half strikeouts. As you can see, he's a you know he's pretty decent favorite over here to go under. But I'm going against that today because I think his pitching matchup is great for him. We're going to take the over five and a half strikeouts. The second player I'm looking at is going to be from the Arizona game. Let's find Arizona here. Colorado versus Arizona. We're looking at total bases. And we're looking at Emmanuel Rivera. His prop is one and a half. As you can see over here in his last 10 games, he's went over five out of 10 times. The thing I'm looking at is his streak he has. He has a streak of four straight games where he's went over 1.5 total bases. Over here, he's facing a pitcher that he's faced in the past. He's had six plate appearances. He's had one hit. He's had one single. Um, when you see a player's had multiple games with hits, you know, five, ten, whatever games, you know, you have to, you know, the numbers are going to catch up and they're going to go the opposite way. In one game, they're not going to get a hit. I think it's set up perfectly for him not to get a hit uh, against uh, Freeland. Uh, he's one for six against him. Down here, he has the advantage. I think, uh, yep. Down here, he has the advantage. To me, I just think this three stops. He may get a single. I don't think he gets uh, two hits today or he gets a double or a triple or a home run or whatever. But, you know, in four straight games, he's had a hit. That streak is going to change. We're going to take Rivera to go under 1.5 total bases. And I think these lines, are, I just checked before this video. And these lines are still good on prize picks. I think the Bryce Elder line will probably go up to six at some point. So go out there and get that Elder 
uh, line at five and a half. So those are two picks that I like. Go ahead, like, subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated. The two that I use is props.cash. It's up on the left uh, top corner of your screen. Uh, use my code WiseGuyBets. You get 25% off, which brings it down to like 15 bucks a month. It's, you know, usually it's like 19 bucks a month. Pretty good savings and any savings adds up. So until the next video, peace.